Hello friends. Welcome to corporate valuation and restructuring. One of the subject in MBA finance third semester. Today let us uh, deal with the very important uh, theory that is Tobin Q theory. A very important theory and a very important question which is uh, asked many times in previous year question papers that is uh, briefly explain the concept of uh, Tobin Q theory. Well, uh, James Tobin was the first person to explain the relation between stock market and investment. Tobin's Q ratio is a measure of firm's assets in relation to firm's market value. Tobin put forward a view that links fluctuation in the stock market with the fluctuation in investment. As you all know, the shareholder of a firm gets a return in a form of annual dividend plus capital gain arising from a rise in the share price. If there is an increase in the share price, he gets it in form of capital gain and as usual, he may get an annual dividend. The shares of the company are traded in the stock market. When the prices of the shares rise, the value of the capital installed will increase. This increase in the company's capital installed will lead the company to make the investment. This is what Tobin put forward as his view. That is, increase in the company's capital installed will lead to company will lead the company to make more investment that is how he brought a relation in between firms assets and firms market value tobin q he gave a ratio which that is q tobin q which uh, is equal to asset value of the company divided by market value tobin's q ratio is nothing but a measure of firms assets in relation to firm's market value. This is best explained in this example. Let's take an example, say if like a company XYZ has 40 million of assets, rupees 40 million of assets and 10 million shares outstanding. And uh, let's say it is currently trading at uh, rupees three. Now, as per Tobin Q, it is uh, the market value will be number of shares outstanding multiplied by the current market price of the share. So it will be 10 million shares into rupees three divided by the assets that is 40 million rupees, which will give the quotient or the Tobin Q ratio to be 0.75. Now, this is a very popular method that is Tobin Q ratio is a very popular method to estimate the stock's fair value and can be practically used by the market participants, that is the shareholders, to make informed decision. They can make a decision by using this ratio. Now, what is the interpretation or what is the conclusion that we draw from this ratio is, if the factor Q is less than one, it would mean that market value is less than the replacement cost, which would mean that the company is trading undervalued. If the ratio, that the factor Q is less than one, the, it means that the company is trading undervalued. If Q is greater than one, it would mean that the company is earning, company's earning rate of return is larger than the replacement cost. If Q is equal to one, then it means that the equilibrium is achieved. So all these three, uh, interpretations will lead an investors in making a decision in a practical scenario. Uh, well, uh, thank you friends. So uh, if you have liked this video, please uh, subscribe it and uh, don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get a notification as and when the videos is uploaded. Uh,